Welcome everyone to this HWBOT World Tour 2016 and we are here in South Africa and this is going to be the final of the Extreme Overclocker here at the World Tour 2016 at the Rage Expo in Cape Town. I've been joined with Lee Goft. Hey Lee Goft, how are you doing? Hey man, uh, glad I could make it. Uh, just in the nick of time. Hey, perfect. So you're live with us from Belgium and the guys are actually ready to go right in this competition. So we'll uh, jump to uh, Peter that will just uh, present us the few benchmark for tonight. Peter, up to you. All right, so let's draw the benchmark. You, you guys have each one veto. So the first so, one that we're pulling out here is uh, 3D Mark 11 Physics. No one is going to veto the, that one? Everyone's okay with it? All right, let's go with that one then. Okay, so that was quite fast. So the guys did actually choose to uh, go bench 3D Mark 11 Physics. So they, they, will have, uh, they will have a lot of, uh, of things to do for that. Um, uh, Likov, can we uh, explain a little bit more what is this competition? How does it work? Yeah, so in fact, they did like uh, the qualifiers. I think you hosted like the entire qualifiers and now they're going head to head. So uh, Vivi came in second and Quantum X in third. And so these guys are facing one another now in like what we call a semi-final. And they chose now uh, 3D Mark uh, 11 physics. So they will go rough on the CPU. Previous stages were like five gigahertz limited. Now they can go flat out. So it will be very interesting to see what these guys can, can pull off. From the it, things I know from before, Vivi has like a lot of experience on Z170, same as Andrew, so Dr. Wees and Quantum X, like, I think he had discovered the platform yesterday or even today on LN2. So uh, will be fun to see what he can pull out of his hat. So he's one of the better overclockers as well in South Africa, Quantum X, but you never know what will happen today. That's going to be quite interesting to see uh, what can be done with uh, for them. And until then, uh, we will still have to wait for uh, the countdown by uh, Mr. Peter. And uh, this will be taking place in the next few uh, minutes. So we just need to fix one little sad thing just before. So they had the choice between fixed benchmark and they choose this one. They could not. They could veto one benchmark each, but for this one, they didn't veto the first one. So we are ready to go now, and uh, we have um, Peter that will do the countdown. So Peter, uh, we can hear you on the live now, so you can do the countdown live. All right, so let's start. Three, two, one, and go. So 30 this minutes. Is 30 minutes to go. 30 minutes to go for them to get the best score out of 3D Mark 11 physics. Yeah, this is really interesting now. Massman is doing like, uh, I don't know if you know Formula One. There's also like a, a Belgian guy doing the, 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 the flag thing. So launching the Formula One and also uh, waving the finish flag. So uh, quite funny to see a Belgian guy doing this again in South Africa. But now I'm, for extreme overclocking. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's, in, he's enjoying that. Yeah, of course. Massman likes to be in control. <laughs> I like to be in control. So as you can yeah. see on the screen, the two guys are right into it right now. So if we have the screen side by side, we uh, can see that Vivi is player red. So the red color is for Vivi tonight and Quantum X is the blue color. So they are going straight into the BIOS. And if we uh, want to uh, see what's going more on the screen of Vivi, so that's going to be more interesting for you guys. Vivi is always in red and Quantum X will always be in blue. Yeah, you uh, see everybody rushing into the bias and, and they already set up some profiles. So uh, they will be dialing in uh, everything pretty quick. I'm already seeing like CPU ratio 55 popping up. Memory has been uh, dialed in. Do, do you have any information, Truthman, on, on the G-Skill kits? What memory is on there? Is it D-Die? Uh, I think it's, I can't remember. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't, I didn't really check for that. But that's going to be interesting to see how the guys can push that because that was exactly the same kit that was used by the Extreme Overclocker here at the HWBOT World Series 26 in South Africa as the amateur. And the amateur final is oh. going to be uh, streamed live tomorrow. So thank you guys for joining us on the live chat. If you have any questions, uh, let us know. And let us know as well who you are rooting for. Who is your favorite overclocker in this game? Is it the red team by Vivi or is it the blue team by Quantum X?
Yeah, I think everybody places their bets on either Andrew or Vivi to get like the final ticket for Berlin. You know, because not everybody is is, is uh, aware of Quantum X, even though he did some good scores, but he's not familiar with, with Skylake. So I want to see what he can pull off on this one. The guys are cooling down now, waiting for the right temperature and then already loading one of the profiles, pressing F10 and going into Windows. And you see already like uh, over two minutes and a half passed, so uh, they probably will go for a safe score in the beginning, like a strategic thing, just to have something going and then slowly find their way, dialing in the memory even tighter maybe, clocking up to get that higher physics score. It'll be interesting to see this is uh, definitely CPU based and uh, we have uh, we have some interesting things to, uh, to see. That's the first time at the HWBOT World Series that the overclockers didn't veto uh, a benchmark at first. Yeah, probably because they both enjoy it. I think most will find this a little bit more interesting to watch as well than just raw memory frequency or something like that. It, it, it's more about uh, finding good speeds, the right timings, back it up with a good CPU, uncore, and then you're good to go. That's interesting to see that out of the six benchmarks they could choose, uh, there was the W32M reference clock, so that's the maximum uh, base clock they could reach, uh, XTU, GPU Pi for CPU, 100M, and 3D Mark 11 physics, and the last one was be, would be Cinebench R15.5. They, some of them would have veto for sure XTU. I know Quantum X would have veto XTU because in the qualifier, it did add some issue and he was on the live with us just earlier today, like a few hours ago, and he was telling uh, he was telling us that he doesn't understand why his CPU will not run hyper trading with XTU. It didn't work. Oh really? So yeah, yeah. He, had, he had some issues, so he didn't know about that. So he, he, he told me like, if it's XTU, I veto straight straight for it because I cannot run it uh, with hyper trading enable. Yeah, that's really weird. In fact. I've never experienced that one. So but yeah, you can see that, that that's also part yeah. of live overclocking. Sorry to interrupt yeah, that's you. always <laughs> like this. You never know what's gonna happening. What's gonna, what's gonna be happening after that? You know, it's uh, it's very tough here. Quantum X. That's the first time he's doing a live competition as well. So that's gonna be a bit uh, tricky for him to be sure to uh, to handle all the things. Yeah, it seems that the guys are. Uh, Booting up the system now. We see no signal on the screen, so they're like rebooting it. Wow, we got already the desktop now popping up at Vivi. So the, we have the, the, the blue team is Quantum X. So right now on the screen, we have Quantum X. Quantum X, yeah, my mistake. You can always correct me. I'm the old guy, Truthman. You have to put me. <laughs> so let's uh, go to the judge and ask Peter about the temperature that the guys are running. Hey, Peter, can you hear us? Oh, Peter. Peter is gone. Oh, no, Peter is actually refilling the LN2. <laughs> oh, hey, guys. <laughs> so, Peter, how, how low are the, the temperature for the guys? So, as I see it now, Quantum X is at 83 degrees and uh, Vivi is at 75 degrees. It's pretty interesting because Vivi was using a pot that uh, that has a little bit more mass, whereas a Quantum X is a uh, is using SF3D's inflection point, which is a good combination between speed and mass. So Quantum X was able to drop his temperature a lot faster than uh, than Vivi. Interesting. Thank you, Peter. We're gonna call back to you if we need more information about that. Big uh, let's uh, talk a little bit because there is 24 minutes left uh, in this 30 minutes round for the first semi-final of the HWBOT World Series here in South Africa. So let's go a little bit more on the concept. So it's a one versus one overclocking final. Yeah, that's, it's it's totally different. Something I, I don't think it's really new. I think uh, Peter Jan also did it with Elmore at DreamHack, like, oh, I don't know, four or five years ago. And it has proven to be very interesting because it puts like a lot of pressure. It's just you two facing one another. It's like uh, if you played online gaming, the dual mode, so 1v1 there as well, it, it, it adds up to the stress because you can't rely on any partner. There were events where you bench like with a bench partner, so he could maybe just pour the LN2, you did the settings and everything. Now you're totally on your own. You have to figure out what's going on with the setup. If something doesn't work out, like maybe Quantum Access XTU, maybe if he had a partner before, that guy could say, ah, you're missing that setting or that setting. That one is wrong, but now he has to do it all by himself. Time pressure here. 
30 minutes is not much. And you see you're they're just setting up stuff. First scores are dropping in, but we're already like seven minutes gone. So pressure is on. And, and it's also, I think, more entertaining for the viewers as well. You have only 30 minutes. They're very short benchmarks, so they can put down, let's say, five to six scores easily. But they have to improve the scores. So rebooting, dialing in, tweaking, tuning, as far as it goes. That's crazy that you can see uh, the screen of Vivi right now. Uh, no, it's not, it's not actually. Oh, yeah. It's the blue Maybe. team again, yeah. Yeah, that was the blue team again. So you can see that the guys here uh, are quite stressed. And uh, that's the first live competition for Quantum X, as we say. Vivi is quite used to that and he's super relaxed. He's been super relaxed the, the past few days. And uh, it was fun to, to hang out with him. Thank you guys on the live chat. Uh, hi, Firekiller GR that say Massman will beat both of them. Thank you, David SP27, IOC TV, and uh, RT Surfer say hola as well. And there's uh, Noxy Knight that says, I really like the format of this World Tour final, and I have to admit, I do extremely love that. I, it's super fun to do, it's super fun to come in. It's a bit of a pain in the ass in the. Excuse me, excuse my, uh, yeah. excuse my French, pardon my French. It's a bit of a pain to set up because there's so many cables, and if you guys were. Here before uh, before we actually crashed the first uh, the first part of the live, uh, we're actually setting up the complete uh, the complete system. We have like almost 30 meters of cable running around just to to bring you all these all this uh, information and uh, and screens for for the guys. Yeah, and it's really interesting to see the screens as well, like with the HyperX contest as well, that you could like really focus on what the guy is doing and actually talking during a run. Today I did with uh, another teammate, we did like a MSI fan day and we still had issues with the same concept. Like you're benching, you're watching your screen and the spectators can't see in fact what you're doing. So this is like really fun to watch. If you're into overclocking, even if you aren't into overclocking, you can see something moving, which is like way more fun to watch and also to commentate as well. Because even us, I'm in Belgium now right now, I'm just watching two guys bench. If I don't see the screens, I have no clue what's going on, in fact. And for now, the screens are both off, starting the system. So that's uh, not quite super interesting at the moment, but still, we'll have all the feedback. Like this one right here. So this is see, a TV screen, red team for tonight. I hope Vivi is not too overconfident, Truthman. That can also be like a, a disadvantage if he's like, uh, hmm, I can beat this guy easily, no problem. You only have 30 minutes, you have to set in the scores, everything has to work out. And it's like I said, you only have the chance maybe to do like 5 to 10 runs max, and then it has to work out. It's going to be quite interesting to see what they can do uh, with that, both of them. So, far, so is no, the OC no Esports yeah. pages will it be updated as well? Because I don't have anything there. No, the, the uh, OC Esports page will be updated only at the end of the competition because of the format. Ah, okay. Uh, so the format is actually uh, updated live on uh, on the stream. So you can see Vivi is having 15,639 points, while Quantum X have 15,694 points. So actually Quantum X is in the lead and there's less than 20 minutes left for this first semi-final of the HWBOT World Series South Africa. This is also the fun thing about this concept as well. We saw that HyperX as well and then all... The benchmark chosen is, they're like really tight. It's it's like, I don't know, we will not see like that big differences in, 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 in output. So really tight competition. And, and that's of course way more fun that one guy benching a CPU like 500 megahertz more than the rest of the world he will win it easily. This is totally different. You see the scores. It's only like less than 60 points that differs. That is super close for both of the guys. And that's going to be super close all evening. So let's go back a little bit more about the uh, the, the concept of all this uh, one versus one and how does that uh, does that works. So first we have, uh, we got the qualifier all over the, uh, the afternoon. And uh, during this afternoon they could both, uh, I mean, all of them qualify and uh, and get ranked. And the ranking did actually choose who is going against who. So the first semi-final is Vivi against Quantum X. That's the one that is actually going right now. They're using 3D Mark 
11 physics. And in the second semi-final, that will be Dr. Wiz versus Sok Shock G. And the grand final will actually be the each winner to go there. The bronze final is the loser against the loser. So it's the we didn't want it to call that the loser bracket because it's not really mm -hmm. loser. You already end up here, did the qualifier, and then you know, still uh, fight one versus one. The champion of this uh, uh, World Series 2016 Cape Town in South Africa will win a ticket to go to the final of the HWBOT World Series Championship in December, that's going to be happening at the Case King Gaming, I uh, can't remember, Gaming Room. They have a special uh, area for, for gaming, so they will. Um, that will be happening at their location. So guys, if you just joined the live, uh, the live stream, this is the final of the HWBOT World Series. That's a competition of overclocking, so basically the guys need to go as fast as, as they can with their computer. They all, they both use the exact same motor motherboard that's the z 178 uh gaming oh damn it i can't remember the exact name for that one titanium edition that's the most important thing titanium Game, edition. yeah yeah <laughs> titanium <laughs> edition that's the te we call always that we call, always call that about the te they're using the g skill trident uh trident x ddr4 uh two times four gigabytes uh, memory kit uh, that's the same for them and uh, they are using the PSU from Seasonic that is partner of the Complete World Tour and that's the Platinum Edition 760 Watt. Um, they are all using as well the same CPU, the Intel Core i7-6700K. Yeah, and just watching the screen, um, it seems VB is having some issues booting in uh, while Quantum X is in Windows effectively running the benchmark and Vivi is still like trying to get the system correctly booting maybe he did some memory timings a little bit too tight and he has some issues getting the system up we we'll see how the guys managed to uh, to kick that in a lot of reboots a lot of reboots you lose a lot of time every time you restart the system there's this time that that you lose it's it's extremely tight it's already half almost half of the uh, of the first semi final yeah and we don't see any improvement in the score, so they might have both like not really maxed out already the setup, but probably they're like super tight already on the memory, and 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 maybe there's not that much to gain there anymore. So they have to find some other ways to to boost the free the, the let's say the output score of of the 3D Mark 11 physics. There was a question on the live chat on Twitch, David SP27. Uh, is there only 20 minutes left for the live stream? No, actually, that's only the first semi-final. There's another semi-final. There's going to be the bronze final, and then there's going to be the uh, real final of this HWBOT World Series South Africa. So that means it's 30 minutes each time. We have uh, about a 20 minute to 30 minutes cooldown in between each match for the guys to um, to prepare and to make sure that there is no. Uh, no, uh, no issue in between the in between the rounds. Look at this! Look at this! How cool is that? Both guys talking, having fun, playing LN2 on the computer. Yeah, and I I watched the replay of you guys with Quantum X then yesterday and said that he went to Vivi's place to learn the stuff. And he wasn't he was like LN2 noob or rookie or whatever you want to call it. And Vivi taught him like a little bit of the ropes. Now it's like in fact. Master Yoda with his apprentice there, and at the moment the apprentice is in the lead. So that was like uh, quite a new game level. In fact, Vivi needs to find a way to catch up now. Maybe he taught him too many tips. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Maybe Vivi is gonna be having some uh, some issue. That's that would be super uh, super tight for them. Is they if any of these guys is running into uh, issue with cold boot bug or or, or any kind of. Uh, issue because of the um, condensation or the the system uh, the, the, yeah. the system and the water on the, on the system i'm under fully in, in the picture the the cpus they're using now were also given by you guys or is it their own cpu that they're using at this moment uh as far as i know the cpu are provided but we will go ask peter so peter you're now live the question was uh, where does the cpu came from so the CPUs were provided by Intel South Africa. And uh, were the overclocker able to test the CPU before the final? No. Uh, well, they were able to test them through the, in the time that they had for the qualifier. And then of course, the time leading up to the final, they could spend their time with the CPUs, no problem. Uh, but before this event, none of them have uh, seen this CPU. Interesting. 
interesting to see that it's uh, quite a good level playing field. Thank you, Peter. We're gonna uh, tune into you in the next uh, the next few time if you need more information. There is 13 minutes left in this uh, first semi-final, seeing Vivi against Quantum X. So far, Quantum X is in the lead. So this is in fact an interesting thing that the CPU is provided by Intel. So I'm also assuming that these CPUs are not deleted. So let's say the original Intel thermal paste is still on the die. And that could explain maybe why they like limiting their GPU clocks or the CPU clock, sorry, up to 55, 56 and not going that cold. Because if you go too cold, you're cracking the tim, and in fact, it's game over. You can't run anything anymore. So you have to heat up again. So probably they like playing safe. And maybe that's also the reason that PJ told in the beginning that they're like at minus 80 and that's it. So at minus 80, you can easily run like 5,500, 5,600 megahertz without, let's say, breaking or cracking the original TIM, which is underneath the heat spreader. And that would be a disaster if that arrived in here in this competition because you don't have the time in 10 minutes to heat up the system, delete the CPU, put back the thermal paste, remount. There's no way you can do it in, in 30 minutes. There, there's no way you can do it in that fast. But that's going to yeah. be uh, quite interesting to see. Let's uh, try to catch the run from Vivi. Yeah, let's see if he can improve. He had a lot of work to get into Windows. Do it, run it. Just see if he has an output. Oh, you can see there's a lot of artifact on the screen. So probably the memory timing is a little bit too tight, but PJ is looking. The valid score. So we are. Do we have a new high score, Truthman? Because yeah, I'm, I'm trying to to see it in the. Well, so let's go see if he's taking. Uh, yeah. Sometimes let's go full screen to see what's uh, what's up with VB. What was it? Fifteen five. So you see, he's like trying doing everything in, in 3D Mark 11, even even putting the benchmark from center to stretch. Sometimes it gains a, a, a few points, but usually it's more for me like a, a lucky run that everything fits down well together. The memory timing, CPU speed, everything picking up, and you get the high output. Uh, high, high output, sorry, in the physics score. So well, let's see uh, what the score will be. Now I can uh, read the screen directly from uh, like you guys are seeing on uh, on the stream. So Vivi is taking the lead now at this moment with like uh, at least almost 250 points extra over Quantum X. So he needs to improve quickly. Quantum X it is restarting the system at the moment. And no, 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 that's good. He's actually benching. He was benching. We uh, tried to see the score. There's a little uh, delay in between the time it refreshed and it appears to Windows because it changed the resolution. Yeah, and Vivi is cracking already 16k, so uh, Quantum X now trading by almost 340 points. So and, uh, uh, the, the last score of Quantum X was 15,349 uh, points, so that's far from his best score. Far from his yeah, best so score. Yeah, so he, yeah, he, he dialed in something not enough. So uh, yeah, he, he needs to figure out what's going on. Uh, maybe a memory timing too tight. Tighter is not always better. There are some certain settings in, in the BIOS that really decrease your performance. That's uh, quite interesting to see that uh, Quantum X is in the lead, that is, uh, was in the lead, and now Vivi is back. Vivi is back in the game. He submitted a score at, six, at over 16,000 uh, points, and there's less than nine minutes left in this first semi final. Yeah, it's like we said, the, 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 the time pressure is enormous. And, and, and in fact, like you were like comfortably in the lead, like for more than two thirds of, of the game. And now at a certain moment, bam, the other one just pops in the score, breaking or nailing 16K. And, and you're still with your original score, which was like your, your, your best score. So now it's like for him to figure out, how am I going to catch that score? I need so many points. How, how can I do that? But this is the thing that most, I think, most overclockers on the Twitch channel at this moment expected that Vivi would 
at least get into the final facing Dr. Whis, but it wasn't that like an easy ride. He had like a lot of reboots, a lot of stuff going on, setting up the system, getting back into Windows, but finally the experience nailed it. So uh, at the moment he's, he's back in, seeing if he can rerun. What can be done in this uh, semi-final is uh, that's quite tight in between them. So Quantum X was first uh, going on on the uh, on the system, and uh, I think that Peter wants to see how many minutes left. Seven, mi seven minutes and twenty-four uh, seconds left in this uh, first semi-final match. Come on, Quantum X, you can do it, man. You Keep can at least it. tighten the gap. Blue screen. <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> that was really fast. Does he even see Vivi's win windows just locking up? So uh, he's going really tight on things. And this is the thing. You you don't have time to put like take down notes or stuff like that. You're just changing settings and, and, and try to boot into windows. Run the benchmark. Hopefully it improves. Tweak further and, and continue. No time to test, no time to test. You should come prepared to this kind of competition. There's no way, there's no way you can perform um, in 30 minutes if you didn't prepare at all before. There's no way you can perform unless you have a lot of luck. But even that, um, I haven't seen that, uh, I haven't seen being uh, being done so far. Well, yeah, maybe the, if the Extreme Addict is trying this kind of competition, maybe we'll see if a uh, huge amount of luck help. <laughs> yeah, but, but XA is like, I don't know, he's, he's like the king of these live events. W was there like a live event where XA was not in a final? Or at least not present? I don't think so. He's like everywhere. He's not this time in South Africa, but he will be at Poitiers. It will be so next, next, week next, weekend, huh? next weekend. Actually, next weekend you will be with us as well, uh, League of. Yeah, we will try our best. Too bad I can't stay on Monday. <laughs> 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 That's the thing it is. I have to go to work on Tuesday, so <laughs> nothing to do about that one. So you will find uh, probably another host. I don't know who you will find you already... a way. No worry for that. No worry for that. Ah, many volunteers. Maybe Wizardy can join or something. Yeah. Can do uh, half in English and half in French, like we did. Mm. Uh, we did the the, the commentary in uh, Sao Paulo, uh, like this. Yeah, half in, uh, half in English was... and half in, uh, in Portuguese. That was quite cool, in fact, to uh, to hear that as well. Because I still can't pronounce the, the, the winner's name. What was it like? XF, XFX or X Physics? Or? X H, uh, P X H X. In Portuguese, P H X H. So there is a new score from Vivi. If I check out this, the screen, you can see it. It was, uh, it was there and it will be rerunning. He's improving his score 16,131 points. So he's getting on the lead against Quantum X. So far, yeah, so he's running and running and running again. There's a lot of artifact going on on the screen. Yeah, the, he's just on a learning curve. Uh, Andrew is now also Dr. Weez is like waiting for. Okay, what will happen? I don't know what Quantum X will still do. He doesn't have that much time, and even after all these minutes, he didn't manage to like improve his score one time. Vivi is like slowly, steadily improving all the time. So he's like on the roll at this moment. But that's the thing, he just updated a new score at 16,143 16, points. So something, it seems like no one can stop it by now and Quantum X is still stuck in uh, in, uh, in in this. Sadly, we'll try to see uh, what's happening. Let's go back to Quantum X screen. He's stuck at five years. I think he's having issue with uh, with his, uh, his chip, like he uh, like he told us. He had some uh, issue with the the system by itself. He never used that uh, that motherboard because they they have to use this motherboard because MSI is a partner of this event, and that was the first uh, the first time he was uh, using it in a like professional way like this. There's yeah, I, three I think minutes that's... and thirty three seconds left, by the way, in this uh, in this final. That's in fact the, the advantage Vivi and Dr. Wees are having. In fact, like Dr. Wees, Andrew is doing like regular streams of overclocking using all kinds of hardware, going from MSI to Astrog, from to ASUS. I don't know if he even did Gigabyte. I'm not sure about that. But he has like a wide knowledge of all these motherboards and also had the time to pre-test a lot. Same for Vivi. He's like an avid uh, MSI user as well. So I think those two guys know this motherboard like almost inside out. 
They are like acquainted with the BIOS settings, how the board reacts, how the board trains the memory, and too bad for Quantum X and Shock G as well. They're not used to it, but it's already impressive that yeah, Quantum X is like putting down a, I did like a good run, but now he's like probably looking, when, okay, probably game over in, in, in this one. So far, the two overclocker are restarting their system. Nothing we can do about that. We just have to wait for them to uh, be ready to go and maybe put a new score in the last 2 minutes and 30 seconds of this semi-final. Just a question for you guys, Truthman or PJ maybe. Now we did 3D Mark 11, so for the next semi-final, 3D Mark 11 is already out or they still can run this one? They can still run this one, so it goes back into the head and then restart the veto over and over again. Ah, okay. That's quite cool or interesting as well to watch. So maybe they, they draw 3D Mark 11 again. That, that'd be fun. But they, they could veto it next time, unless they did veto already two benchmark and uh, jump to that one. There is less than two minutes left in this uh, competition. So far, Vivi is in the lead. Um, yeah, I need like a quite a comfortable lead, in fact, like... Uh, over 500 points almost so yeah i think this game is over and out with hopefully quantum x can do a run but i don't know if, if he's still having issues with his hyper treading stuff or something it, there it's, it's not going quite well while well, vivi is running again he's running but it crashed it fixed he's like typing on the keyboard and can't do anything about that there's one minute and 15 seconds left in this first semi-final between Vivi and Quantum X. Unless there is a big score being put on the timeline by Quantum X, so far Vivi is uh, the leader of this run. Yeah, and I see both losing the signal, so they're both rebooting. So uh, even the, the run from Quantum X didn't go as planned. So yeah, we'll be very tight. Even if he just gets into Windows, it has to happen straight away. There's not that much time to, to do all the settings. It's just like selecting, run. That's going to be uh, very tight. 40 minutes, uh, 40 seconds left. <laughs> There's a question on the chat roof. Will there be like a Q&A after the competition? With Do we have like, like 15 minutes or so between each semi-final and even the final? I think so, yeah. We will have time in between. There's uh, 20 seconds left. We will have time in between the different uh, the different things. We will see if the overclockers uh, want to take the time to talk about that. If not, that will be after uh, the, the real final. We'll uh, do a, a short Q&A. So there's 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Star 1. benchmark, star benchmark. He's still in. He can finish this run, I think. So, Peter, what is your stance about nice. the uh, benchmark for Quantum X? Can you still run it? Yeah, so Quantum X hit run one second before <laughs> the end time. So, <laughs> benchmark still going. And this oh, it crashed. <laughs> it crashed. And oh. so, a, so, this is it. Vivi is the first. Is the first uh, winner of this uh, semi-final with 16,143 points in 3D Mark 11 physics, while Quantum X, uh, with a very good start, with a very very good start, but sadly he got stuck uh, with this, <laughs> with this, uh, with this good score maybe after like 10 minutes of the start. Uh, what did you think about that first very fast uh, semi-final, Mr. Ligo? Yeah, very interesting to see uh, Quantum X indeed, like you said, taking the lead in the beginning. Nobody expected that one, I think. And then we saw Vivi like battling it out with the system, hammering the keyboard, torching, powering up and down the power supply. So it was not going, I think, as planned as well for him. But eventually, yeah, he, he managed to get the score uh, of Quantum X the and then final? like take a comfortable lead. Uh, we can do it. That's going to be... Uh very fun to to have them on the live chat. Guys, on the live chat, if you have questions for the overclockers, let us know and we'll try to ask them the question if they have uh, if, if they have a few uh, few seconds. So, there's discussion going on for when we will be doing the next one. If we have more time, so let's say we take uh, not a 20 minute cooldown, but a 30 minutes cooldown, uh, we'll try to, uh, to get Quantum X uh, along with us because it might be a... Uh, uh, if he's not too stressed, you have to 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 you know dry up his system and everything. That's gonna be uh, tricky. So on the screen right now, you have 
Quantum X on the right side of the screen, and you have Vivi on the left side with the torch. And I think that uh, Peter wants to tell us something. Peter, do you want to tell us something on the mic or outside of the mic? So, Ligoft, I have to uh, check out with the, the guys here. So, please carry on the live. Yeah, we saw both guys now just talking. The, the stress moment is over, so Vivi took the lead. I think experience won this one. So, uh, Vivi is also an avid 3D tweaker. I don't know about Quantum X. He didn't post that many scores. He was like more into Pentium and stuff like that. So, Vivi doing a lot of 3D benching. And I think he has like a pretty good idea how, how the physics works, how he can improve it. Of course, like we said, 30 minutes, not a lot of time. Unknown motherboard for Vivi, unknown for Quantum X. His first, like, say, LN2 runs on the Z170 with the Skylake CPUs. Vivi a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more, let's say, maybe confident doing the runs but <laughs> like the, the initial start of the competition was like totally totally the opposite of what everybody i think on the twitch channel at this moment was expecting vivi only trailing quantum x and then at a certain moment bam he hit the, he hit the 16k putting the stress again on quantum x who had to fight his way back and it, it will be really interesting to to have like the feedback of quantum x what his initial feelings are on, on z170 because it's, it's fun. Today we were like uh, with a teammate with Peter Van Dam. Maybe some guys of you know it who were like uh, benched in the Benelux. It was his first LN2 experience again after let's say six or seven years just doing like water cooling. And he also had like a rough time on Z170. In the old days overclocking was like putting as much voltage as possible. Cool it down as low as you can. But with the new generation CPUs you have like all these different voltage values that you have to dial in and, and each CPU reacts differently. All motherboard vendors using other names. So you have to be like all round now to do, let's say, competitions like these. And, and it will be really interesting to, to just to get Quantum X on the chat, maybe on the live stream and, and just ask him indeed what went well, what went wrong. Because everybody, of course, can learn from this. That's something we will be able to do in the next few minutes. But before that, we have to take a short break uh, before we uh, we can go again. Uh, this is mostly due because we have to uh, to ensure that ah, I cannot change the camera again. This is uh, mostly due because we have to um, to, uh, to 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 make the guys uh, reset. So we'll. Uh, uh, League of, I will uh, let you comment for all the guys on the live chat. You will still be live, but we will okay. be uh, cutting the the recording for the YouTube for the YouTube video. So you guys, if you are watching this replay on YouTube, uh, well, give it a thumbs up if you like what Vivi did. Uh, and on the live chat, you can always tell us if you are happy that Vivi won. And uh, we will gonna see uh, you guys in the next few minutes for the for the next match. <laughs> 